Rod Singh. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Pulse. Uh, excited here today to show you a quick demo of what we do. Uh, many of you probably uh, have strong opinions about remote work and have spent the past couple of years working remotely uh, and have uh, uh, experienced many of the ups and downs. Um, we have lived through that world um, and we've seen the data. Um, tons and tons of people love working from home, but there has been consequences as a result of that. Uh, people are reporting feeling more lonely. Uh, people are reporting feeling potentially more disconnected, uh, notification fatigue, uh, you name it. And so a lot of those things we try to solve with Pulse. So let me give you a sense of how this works. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up Slack. And what I thought I'd do to sort of start off is just kind of show you what Slack feels like without Pulse. Uh, so this is my team. Uh, Vasish is online right now. Uh, a bunch of them are offline. Uh, I'm online myself. Um, not all of the team is here, but, but just to kind of give you a sense. And that's really all you know. Um, I could go and maybe message Jag or Jeff or uh, Brad or whatnot. Um, I don't know if I'm interrupting them. I don't know if it's their, their end of the day. I don't know if this is the best time to ping them. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're inviting communication. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to uh, Zoom fatigue, notification fatigue. These are all sorts of things that people have uh, reported as being sort of issues while working remotely. Um, and just to sort of set the perspective, when we were all physically in an office, we saw each other. That was our status. I saw you get up and walk over to lunch. I'm like, oh, okay, you're heading out to lunch. Or um, I saw you're engaged in a deep conversation. It's like, oh, not probably not a great time to interrupt you. Or, or maybe you're working on that particular design doc that we need to talk about. Like, now's a good time to interrupt you. So we lose a lot of that, a lot of that sort of status, that empathy that you sort of get from seeing people and having people around you while we're distributed. So let me go to our workspace. Um, and this is my team with Pulse. Um, so it's actually 441 and it is Thanksgiving week while I'm recording this. <laughs> uh, so people are, are, are winding down earlier today as we're giving much of the team off. But um, I can see here based on sort of Jag's pre-described office hours that he's leaving soon. Um, and he's in a meeting uh, with Joseph, uh, which he must have connected his Zoom or other for, for, for Pulse to automatically figure that out. Um, Morrow's coding right now. He's in that particular document. Um, let's see, Todd was seen about an hour ago and he's heading out soon. Um, Basish is expected tomorrow. Uh, just commented on this ticket. Um, Brad's uh, out today. He's on vacation. This is automatic status. And it can combine any number of signals and things that we've integrated and it will automatically update as you go about your day. It's super, super powerful. Makes you feel less lonely. Your workspace feels alive. But in addition to that, you get a set of context. You can see who's around, who's available, uh, who maybe I can interrupt. When's a good time to interrupt? Or when's not a good time to interrupt? Or, or, or learn that it's somebody's birthday. Or, or learn that it's a holiday in their country. Uh, whatever it might be. All depending on how you configure it. The way this works is we have a little helper app that runs here at the top. And this is the Pulse helper application. And there's a bunch of sort of custom statuses you can set. And you can set any number of these that you wish. I'm currently sharing my auto status to Slack. Uh, but if you go into settings, this is where the real magic is. And you can configure all sorts of things. Uh, do I want to share when I'm in particular applications? Um, and, and you can customize what you want to share and whatnot. And this has huge impact. If I know my colleague that I interact with every day is designing right now, and we need to talk about design, now's a good time to maybe chat or discuss. Um, do I want to share the file names? Like I'm coding within a specific file or I'm designing within a specific file. Again, uh, Google Drive is sort of my, where I spend my energy, uh, super useful. Like I know my colleague Brad is in the marketing presentation, uh, you know, growth acquisition presentation or whatnot. Oh, now's a good time to interrupt because we need to talk about that. Uh, it creates context, uh, just, like, just as if we were all working together in an office. Um, you can share when you're available. A lot of people turn that off. You don't want to configure when I've stepped away or not stepped at the desk. And we even do things like try to automatically determine if you're focused. Uh, so I'll show a little lightning bolt saying focused right now. We've all experienced notification fatigue, don't want to deal with it. Uh, so it's a great way to sort of solve that. Uh, share when you're in a meeting. We support a ton of applications. It doesn't matter if you're on FaceTime or Skype. Um, whatever it is, 
uh, it figures it out and it will say on a call right now. And that's a super useful piece of information to have because sometimes if you're working in a hyper collaborative kind of environment and there's expectations around when to get back to each other or whatnot, depending on the company culture, uh, it's important to be able to communicate. I'm in a meeting or I'm actually in a meeting or busy right now, whatever it is. Uh, you can append things to your status, such as your weather, your time zone, and we're adding a bunch more, uh, whether you're at the office today, whether you want to share if you're commuting, uh, all sorts of things, whether you're taking a phone call from your phone, uh, you name it. We have these deep integrations that are sort of more obvious. You can configure things around Slack and when, whether you want notifications paused or not paused, uh, uh, when you set something custom or whatever, um, calendars and uh, you can share files from Google Drive, Trello, Jira, Trello, Jira, Zoom, and we have more integrations coming, such as Salesforce and Notion and others, uh, very sort of popular apps. Um, the neat thing about all of this is all of that sort of sauce is all taken together, and it culminates into an automatic status um, that we just sort of display, um, which you can then pick up here. So that's the gist of how this works. If I wanted to dig into somebody, I can... Uh, uh, maybe I needed to jump into this meeting. I could actually go to uh, JAG and type slash pulse. In, in my world, I have to type slash pulse staging because we test with an internal app. And, you know, here's the Zoom link. I can actually jump into the meeting because uh, I don't know, you know, I need to jump into that meeting. He's leaving soon and his end of day is usually at five and, um, you know, some just sort of basic information. It's, it's all sort of data that he decided he wanted to share. He controls, but it's all automatic. Um, and it really sort of changes the experience. And teams that we have found using Pulse are reporting less notification fatigue, more focus time, more ad hoc collaboration, reduced loneliness, so all sort of the top pain points that we have heard uh, coming from remote work. So we hope you give it a try, uh, give it a shot. Um, it's uh, definitely looking forward to your feedback as we continue to evolve and improve this. Uh, you're always welcome to ping me if you have any questions, raj at getpulse.team. Uh, thanks and have a uh, wonderful rest of day.